Guys, if you love Mediterranean food like I do, especially Greek food, then I think you're gonna love this dish. This is a play on moussaka, and I'm saying a play on moussaka because I'm lightening it up uh, by doing three things. One, I'm using 93% lean turkey. Two, I'm skipping the potato layer. And three, I'm using half fat-free milk. So the first thing you wanna do is get your mandolin, get your knife, and you're gonna slice your eggplant. So about that thick. And then you just lay them out. I put them on a rag because it helps absorb the moisture, but you just lay them out, sprinkle them with some salt, and you just let them sit for 30 minutes. And they're gonna start turning a little bit of a color, but that's okay, that's normal. It's like an apple. It changes color once it exposes you know, to air. And then you see all the water right there? All the moisture starts coming out of the eggplant because of the salt. You wanna let it sit for about 30 minutes until all that moisture starts to come out. And if you're doing it on a rag like I'm doing, then once it's done, look at that. Look how much liquid is there, see that? It's like running off. You just flip it over and just let it absorb into the rag. So salt, 30 minutes, let it soak into the rag. Get all that moisture off of there. You don't want your moussaka to be watery. Remove the rag, which is very damp. I'm gonna use it over here to pat those dry. And I'm gonna take a piece of parchment paper. I'm gonna lay four of these on top. Okay. And now what you wanna do is you wanna brush all your eggplant with olive oil. I have some olive oil here. I have my silicone brush. And I'm just gonna brush the eggplant with olive oil. If you spritz the olive oil with one of those spritzer bottles, then the eggplant is gonna suck up the olive oil exactly where it hit and it won't be even. So if you can, just do the little bit extra effort just to brush it on there to make it nice and even. And I forgot to say, you wanna preheat your oven at 425. That's gonna take a minute. So preheat your oven at 425. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna season these with black pepper. You're not gonna put salt because you've already salted the eggplant to draw the moisture out. Just like that. So this is ready for the oven. I am now gonna get, I'm gonna move this over and I'm gonna get the second tray ready and I'm gonna pop them both in the oven at the same time once the oven comes to temperature. Okay, so now this one, I'm just gonna pat it dry. And it's incredible how much moisture actually comes out of these things. Like the rag is officially damp. So I brushed the eggplant with olive oil, sprinkled it with pepper, and now these two trays of eggplant are ready to go in the oven. So these are gonna go in the oven at 425 for 20 minutes. Okay, so an important layer of moussaka is the meat layer. Um, typically it's ground beef, but I'm trying to make the moussaka a little bit lighter. And the way I'm doing that is by A, skipping the potato layer. And I'm telling you, even with just the eggplant, the meat, and the bechamel sauce on top, it is so good. With a side salad, it's a delicious, absolutely delicious dinner. Um, so I'm skipping the potato layer. And instead of using beef, I'm using 93% fat-free lean turkey. And I'm telling you, once you have all the seasonings in there and the bechamel, it's absolutely delicious. You will not miss the beef or the potatoes. 
Um, so to make the meat sauce, you need one pound of ground beef or turkey, whatever you're using. You're gonna need one onion. I only have half an onion, half a red onion, and I had three shallots that I peeled and cut in half. Um, so this is gonna be my onion today, but normally just one large Spanish or yellow onion uh, would be perfect for this. And you need two cloves of garlic, which I don't have, also ran out. So instead, I'm doing a tablespoon of garlic powder. So if you don't have fresh garlic, tablespoon of garlic powder. If not, you can use two garlic cloves that you're going to mince. You need two teaspoons of oregano. You need one teaspoon of cinnamon. You need half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of black pepper. And, the, and you need one 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes with the juice. Do not drain it. And this is gonna be your meat layer right here. So while the eggplant is in the oven, start cooking your meat layer. So let's get started. Okay, so to make your meat sauce, the first thing you wanna do is put some olive oil in the pan, get it nice and hot. I just made some chicken cutlets for my son, so that's why the pan looks like it's dirty, but it's not. Um, I just made chicken cutlets and I just put some Goya adobo all-purpose seasoning, which is garlic, salt, pepper, all the same flavors. It won't mess up the flavor of the moussaka. But put some olive oil in there and then you're going to take your large onion that you diced and you're going to get that in the pan and you're going to start sauteing your onion. So now just move this around a little bit. You want to saute the onion just for a few minutes and then you're going to put the turkey or the ground beef in and you're going to cook it at the same time. So I have this on a medium. Now I'm going to take the one pound of turkey and I'm just going to break it up and put it in the pan because you're going to get this nice and browned with the onion. the two cloves of garlic or a tablespoon of garlic powder. We have a teaspoon of cinnamon, two teaspoons of oregano, half a teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of black pepper. So we're gonna add all of this in here. And we're gonna start mixing. What I smell right off the bat is the cinnamon. Oh, I love the smell of cinnamon. I'm gonna let this sit for a minute and do its thing and then I'll come give it another mix. While you're waiting for the meat to brown, you can get the last layer ready, which is your bechamel sauce. And you're gonna need two and a half cups of milk. So I'm using one cup of milk and one and a half cups of fat-free skim milk, just to make it a little lighter. Um, I kind of spilled some cinnamon in there. And we have a quarter cup of all-purpose flour, quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, half a teaspoon of salt, four tablespoons of butter, and two eggs. That's what you need to make your bechamel sauce, which is the last layer. So this is browning. I'm just breaking it up with one of these uh, meat chopper things. Perfect for this. Meat is nice and browned. It's nice and crumbly, it's perfect. So now you are gonna take your 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes and you're gonna pour this in here. And you're gonna make sure you get everything out of there. And you're gonna give this a mix. Incorporate the tomatoes. And let it simmer for 20 minutes. You don't have to cover it because you want it to re uh, evaporate some of the moisture from the tomatoes but you want the flavor to stay in there, so just put it on low, simmer for 20 minutes. And in the meantime, the eggplant is ready to take out of the oven. Okay, so the eggplant just came out of the oven. It's steaming hot. So while this sits here for a minute and your meat and tomatoes simmers for 20 minutes, you are gonna make the last layer, which is the bechamel sauce. Okay, so I have the eggplant out of the oven I have the meat and tomatoes simmering, and now I am gonna make the bechamel sauce. Now, to make the bechamel sauce, you need a saucepan, you need a whisk. You're gonna turn that on, 
and you're gonna melt the four tablespoons of butter. And while the butter starts to melt, go warm up your two and a quarter cups of milk. You're gonna take your two eggs and you're gonna beat them in a separate bowl because you're gonna temper the eggs with the bechamel sauce. And now I am gonna add the flour and just mix. You can even see that. See how it's bubbling? That's what you want. You want it well incorporated. Get rid of any lumps. You want it to bubble just like that. And now you're gonna slowly pour in the milk, constantly mixing it because you don't want it to burn. So you wanna bring this to a boil and you're gonna boil it for two minutes once it starts boiling, but you have to keep mixing it the whole time. Okay, so I'm gonna add the quarter teaspoon of nutmeg and the half a teaspoon of salt. Get that mixed in. And this is already starting to get thick. It's starting to boil. You see the boiling right there on the edge? So now you wanna mix this and let it boil for two minutes, the whole time that you're mixing. And then I'll show you how we're gonna incorporate the eggs. Okay, so this has been boiling for two minutes. Now what you wanna do, you can't pour the eggs right in here because they'll scramble. So what you need to do is bring you over here. I have the two eggs that I beat, okay? And I'm gonna take about two tablespoons of the bechamel sauce, and I'm gonna pour it into here to temper the eggs so they don't scramble. And then once this is blended, we're gonna put it back into the pan. All right, perfect. Into the bechamel sauce. All right, perfect. And that's it, this is done. Just mix it until the egg is super incorporated. So now, turn the heat off on that, and I'm gonna bring you over here. It's time to assemble your dish. So this is a nine by 12 casserole dish. And I'm gonna grease it with some olive oil so that nothing sticks. Just pour some olive oil in there and just with your brush, go everywhere. Up the sides. You don't want anything sticking later when you're trying to get this out of the pan to serve it up. Okay, done. So now, to get this assembled, you are gonna take your layers, your slices of eggplant, you're gonna press them down to the bottom. And as you're assembling these layers, you want to make sure that these are nicely pressed together. Like this. Piece in the middle. Okay, perfect. So your first layer of eggplant is down. Now, you're gonna do a layer of the meat filling. Okay, just spread it out, press down. This is about half the meat. Just like that, make sure the eggplant is completely covered. You do not wanna see the eggplant. And press it down nice and firm. You want it nice and compact, okay. And now, you're gonna do another layer of eggplant.
just like that. Now we're going to add the other half of the meat. And now you're going to put the final layer of eggplant on top. You can go up the sides a little bit if you need to. Just make sure the meat is not exposed because you don't want your bechamel sauce dripping down into the meat. And if you have some extra slices of eggplant, totally fine. Just add them on top. Don't let them go to waste. Oh, and you know what? If you don't like the skin of the eggplant, by all means, you can peel that off. And just put the slices of eggplant like this. I don't mind the skin of eggplant. I make my mashed potatoes with the potato skin, like, but that's a personal preference. And that's it. That's the last of the eggplant. Do I have a layer under here? Yeah, I'm going to cover right there, right in the middle. Okay, press, 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 press. Perfect. Okay, so now the last and final step is take your bechamel sauce and pour it all over the top. You're going to spread this all over the top as evenly as possible. Make sure everything is covered. Okay, and then the last step, you could take a little tiny bit of Parmesan cheese, about a quarter cup, and sprinkle it right on top of the bechamel sauce. Just a little bit, it doesn't have to be too much, about a quarter cup, and voila. Now this is ready for the oven. So you're going to put this in the oven at 350 for 40 minutes. And once it's done, you're going to take it out and let it cool for 30 minutes so that it can settle and sink into itself and it'll come out nice and easy. Okay guys, so we will see you in 40 minutes. Can't wait. Hey guys, so this has been in here for 40 minutes, but if you look, the bechamel, while it's a little golden, it's not brown enough because you want this to be really nice and golden brown. So I'm gonna put it in for another, I'm gonna leave it in here for another five minutes. And that is what you want it to look like. You want it to be nice and golden brown on top, bubbling on the sides. Look at that. And it smells amazing. So now you have to let this sit for 30 minutes before you cut into it. If not, it's gonna pour out everywhere like hot lava. If you let it sit for 30 minutes, it's gonna set up and you'll be able to cut into it and pull out some nice slices for dinner. So I'll see you in 30 minutes. I'm going to let this set up and cool down a little bit. And then I'll show you how I serve this up with a salad. See you in a bit. Okay, guys. So this has been sitting for 30 minutes. So what I'm going to do now, I am going to take my little silicone spatula. And I'm going to go around to make sure it's not stuck. The last thing you want is that you cut into this and cut into this. And you take out a slice and it's stuck to the side and it falls down and you have a big old mess. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And you can tap, when, when this came out of the oven and you moved it, this was still liquidy. So if you let it sit for 30 minutes, you can press, it's firmed up, which is what you want. You want to make sure you cut all the way through. Okay. All right. 
now. And so I'm going to use the spatula, which has a dip down, which is better for this type of thing. And let's see if I can get this first slice out somewhat decently. All right. Look at that. Look at those gorgeous layers. Tell me that does not look delicious. Okay, let's give it a taste. It literally tastes like you're eating lasagna, but like a warm winter twist on it or something. It's so good. Now, traditionally, there would be a layer of fried potatoes at the bottom of this, but I just skipped the potatoes. I used turkey meat and I did half fat-free milk instead of all full milk. But look at that. Mm -mm -mm. You got the eggplant, the turkey, the tomato, and the bechamel sauce, that creamy bechamel. So good. Mm -mm -mm. Honestly, such simple ingredients, but it tastes so good. Look at those gorgeous layers. Nothing better than simple homemade cooked food. Let me show you how I serve it up with a salad. And voila, dinner is served. Homemade moussaka and the salad is just romaine, apple, and a little tomato, oil and vinegar. Simple cooking, wholesome food, nutritious food. Bye.